What's up everybody? Creek Huntsman here. Doing what I do best. However, I just drove three miles. Got some coordinates from a buddy of mine for a uh, uh, overhang site that he's been digging that he gave me permission to come out and dig on for this weekend. And uh, so I'm on my way to it. I got stuck on this rock bar because everything, everything here is made of flint. And first of all, anybody who arrowhead hunts in this area of the Ozarks, well, I guess all of the Ozarks, kudos if you find anything because every rock is made of flint. And my dog just walked on my fishing pole that was marking what I'm about to show you. Oh man, what's that? Ooh. Man, I'm just telling you, every rock is flint. That's work, whatever it is. It might be natural, I think that's natural. But anyways, kudos to you guys if you find anything down here, cause uh, like every rock catches my eye. When we find anything in my area that looks like any of these rocks, it's cause it's a artifact. But anyways, enough of the jibber jabber. I found something. And uh, I'm gonna give a shout out to Taylor Shanks on this. He just made a post about these. And I showed him mine that I found up in my area and I think I just found one in his area. Ugh. Looky there. Now that's definitely different from all the other flint. I can tell that this has worked. I've already picked it up, so. But anyways. It's a little Waller knife. It's worked all the way around. Especially that edge. Heck yeah, man. I found that just now. And a little bit ago, I didn't record it. But I found this little dude. Nice little scraper. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna keep on hunting whatever rocks down here before I make my way to this overhang, and uh, I'll get back to you if I find anything else. Got one. It's got cortex on it still. I already picked this up. You'll see why. worked real nice all the way around but they gave up on it because of that big old stack right there I feel like they could have taken it off just by striking that it's got a nice little break right there nice that's a cool little blade definitely got an A side and a B side Thank you, great spirit. All right, I'm out here in this hole underneath this overhang. Real nice overhang. There's pictographs somewhere in here. I'm gonna go find them here in a few. But, uh, real nice overhang. Anyways, down in this hole about oh, three foot deep. Just rolled my first artifact. Pretty sure it's a blade. I can't tell if it's whole. I'm gonna get it washed up and pause it real quick. Well, 
I wiped it up a little bit on my clothes and it's whole we're gonna take it up to this water got a nice water drip right here oh it's pretty yeah buddy it's whole Oh yeah. I don't know if there's any more in that hole yet. About to go find out. I'll get back to you. See ya. Alright, we're back. Still finding all kinds of stuff. Got that blade. Then a midden. Finding some little flakes and stuff. But I just went to knock some dirt off and this fell down into my hand. So I pushed it right back up where it was. Oh, where is it? And it blends in really good. It's right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a good one. My favorite artifact. It's a killer little scraper. Duckbill. Oh man, I can't believe this. Oh, I can't believe this. So I'm getting all these little shells or mussel shells. Somebody dinner thousands of years ago. And they have mud on the inside of them, of course. And so I'm scooping the mud out of them. And I just did it on this one. And it's not mud on the inside of it. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a broke, but... Man, oh man. That's a little heartbreaker. Man. All right, well, I'm gonna keep on going. I'll see ya.